All right, beautiful song, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful did song. Now you're gonna wonder where the person where he sing this song. Well, very soon you go actually meet the person where he sing this particular song with his mother. They did with us in the studio. But before you see them and before you hear anything what they get to give you this morning, we're gonna need to buy a small break. And when we come back, time for us to meet them proper. A lot of people they actually um, go through some kind burdens or rather some kind stress, especially when you're dealing with a special need child. Some people don't come outside, even abandon their children or because say they get one um, disorder or the other. But this particular mother, and I best way be say, despite the kind condition where we can get, she not see him as a setback. She see him as a way of bringing forth some of the talent them where we are picking get. And that's now why you see that particular song. But we'll go tell you more of this when we come back after this news break. All right, welcome back. I love my mother by Starboy. Yes, we get the artist inside the house. <laughs> it's everything at Starboy in B. Join me, <laughs> welcome Alex Osita Ede and Ede Catherine, and the mother of Alex. Good to have you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Alex, how are you? Fine, Ma. I'm pretty fine, Ma. Mm. Thank you, Ma. So you said you're a Starboy? Yes, Ma. Why? Why, why, why did you give yourself <laughs> Starboy? Well, because, because I like to sing very well, and and I made the name by myself. Mm. Who is your favorite artist? Joel Amadi. Oh, you love Amadi. <laughs> oh, so I'll come back to you, um, Alex. Let me speak with mommy. So, mommy, I beg, tell me, at what time? After you don't burn Alex, you realize, say, come on, my picking, that person where I need to specially attend to. And then tell me what will be the signs where you be see. Um, it was when he was um, in there like nine months. So I noticed, you know, the meet up with his milestone, meaning he's not doing what a regular child, a stable child should do, like sitting down, carrying the neck, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, just milestone, sitting, carrying the neck making some eye contact, you know, it was like a bit slow. So at that point, I knew something was wrong, so I started seeking for help. So I started, I went through the internet, I started asking questions. I went to visit doctors and they told me, bring him. I took him there. So we ran one or two tests and he was diagnosed of cerebral palsy. So after they don't diagnose and say he gets cerebral palsy, how life afterwards? Wow, it wasn't easy though. I mean, waiting on the Lord for almost eight years before he came. Yeah. So I, I really asked what I should do. They now tell me, in would they do therapy section? Mm -hmm. Say, then would they take care of him? Um, put some things, you know, massages, some therapical equipment were used. So we started almost immediately. So from, you can see, mm -hmm. that's why he's up to the stage like this. Now, one thing where people they forget to understand, they say, apart from even the child going through some of the phases, even the parents too, they get their own psychological phases where they oh, need yes. better attention to. Yes. At that period where you realize, because you know, the best way we say you don't wait for eight years mm -hmm. to carry belly. And then eventually you give birth to an handsome, like you can see Alex is handsome anyway. Thank you. <laughs> Very amazing, um, intelligent um, boy. <laughs> Only for you to discover nine months late, um, after, say, in get cerebral palsy. Yes. How you take find help for yourself? Hmm. Well, I can say the Lord was my strength, or still is my strength. I, I kind of, I did a therapy for myself. Mm -hmm. Like, God, you have given me this child, and I think it's an amazing gift. So first of all, I psyched myself, and I think he will get better. And I think God did it for a purpose for me to like be humble and appreciate him more. So first of all, I psyched myself, even though it wasn't easy. People would laugh at you, people would talk. You know, like in our society here, we are not really aware of so many things. They don't imagine what you're going through, that you're carrying a child. I'll be please shift. Man, I can't just see this child is bringing out speed. Mm. Something is very hurtful. Mm. But I was like, you're not talking to me, you're talking to God that will help me. I know this guy is going, they're going to hear about him later, not just now. That was, I kept having that mindset. And I kept believing somewhere along the line, he'll be fine. So what I did, I just put all my hopes in God. I made God to be my therapy. Then I went straight to therapy section for him and for myself as well. Even my husband, we were so much on therapy. Because we had psychologists coming to talk to us. To like, first of all, you love the child. Forget the challenges around him. First of all, love him as a child first. 
this is my child, I think I love you. Yeah. Then you just put the challenges behind you. I think that was what I did. It helped me and my husband. So, and they made the, this challenge made us with become very close mm -hmm. because we're always talking about him trying to see how we can get a better help for him to become a better person in the society so that was our main focus not just that we have a special child but making him very relevant mm -hmm. and important and thanking god for giving us alex so me and my husband we never stopped that with his siblings and the family too they were very supportive and my family as well so you, was you, very, i, I see you as a strong woman like um, alex alex you say you love your mother she's a very strong woman she is right yes so I see you as a strong woman, but mm. truly, even though the person is strong, 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 Who is he? <laughs> they get some times where the person they. I will break, break down definitely. Now tell me that period or that moment when you break down and waiting they happen. The first breakdown I actually had, I I, I get was um, when he was in preschool, he was in um, crutch, to say, there was time for them to now move him to nursery school. They didn't allow him because he was not walking. He can barely stand. Mm -hmm. And I know his mate have already moved. Mm -hmm. It was so painful. It was demeaning. Mm -hmm. I felt less than nothing that so my child can follow his mate to the next class. Mm -hmm. So the school proprietors, they were very supportive in first act. They just told me, give time. Mm -hmm. He can't be in a regular class with other children. They will run around, they will push him down, all that. It pained me a lot. Those were my low moments, you know. Mm -hmm. Then sometimes we we'll go out. He's smiling I for know. party. <laughs> we we'll go for party instead of him dancing. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, sweet. Instead of him dancing, he would just be like, ah. He, he, he was so scared of crowd. Oh. You know, he wasn't used to. So I will bring him back, and that is the end of the birthday party for me and the siblings. And the siblings will always understand. It was a big challenge for me. Oh. Then sometimes if we go out, then he wasn't stable. The way he walks, the coordination wasn't really there. People will always turn and, ah, and I'll be like, then by the time I go home, I'll cry. I'll say, look at the way they're staring at my child, you know? Those were my really low moments. Mm -hmm. By the time, God, after a while, after the first term, second term, they called me, he started walking a bit. So he told me, I can now move him to the next class. Mm -hmm. So then I was very, that was one of the happiest moments of my life. Then I knew there was hope. Yeah. Like if you can really move into it. You said, you said what? <laughs> They put me son when I was in. Yes, when he was more. Hold your son. Yes, yes, because oh, then wow. he could not grip things, so they go for playing grounds to play. Mm -hmm. So they will pour him to son. He can't pour them back because he can't grip things. So he still remembers that. He will feel bad. I tell him, don't worry with time. Your doctor said you will come over it. And that will be very. Let me speak with Alex now. Okay. Alex, my darling. Yeah. How is it like in school? It's relieved by him. Okay. Well, Actually, when I'm in school, I used to read my book, do my assignment. Mm -hmm. And when I go home, I used to study my music. Mm, nice. What about other students? Do they appreciate you? Do they love they you? They support me. Mm. They love me. They encourage me. Have you ever experienced any backlash in school? Has anyone beaten you in school or insulted you in school? Well, a little bit. Tell me about it. Well, like, Jamal. <laughs> okay, so what did he do? Like, he was beaten because I will read on the bed. <laughs> he was oh, bed, he was, his classmate there was, um, he was still bed, he was still bed wet in there. Okay. But we, we, he's done with that now. That okay. was, he just entered, um, second, that was in his GS1. So the first term. So he was actually he used to bed wet once in a while in bed. So Jama will like he would tease him. He will not like he's not really beating. They yes, don't bully okay. him in school. They be very supportive. Mm -hmm. Ah, Alex, what did you do? He now felt bad and he called me over on the phone and said that Jama hit me. And I said, what did you do? He said that he peed on the bed. Oh. And I said, but is he really beating? Mom, he's not a really beat. Oh, it's mm -hmm. like a correction. I say, you see, nobody bullies you. Oh. So after that, they've been very supportive. But they wanted to flog me. They wanted to flog you. Ah, they can't flog you. They don't flog you. Since then, you haven't bed with him at all. No, 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 he has stopped. Yeah, he, he has stopped. Yes, he has stopped. That was in JS one first term. Wow. He's in JS two now. You're in JSS two. Yes. I'm in general secondary school too. I'm mm. a first in college. Ah, you're a big boy. <laughs> you're a big boy. September you'll be in GS3. So, Alex, do you think there's anything wrong with you? No, ma. Good. Why don't you feel like that? Well, because I'm a special student and I'm happy with him. I mean, my mom is always supporting me. My daddy, my siblings, always supporting me or anything. 
Hmm. I like you, Alex. I really like your attitude. Now, why <laughs> music? Why Wonder Woman? Why Wonder Woman? Why music? Well, because mothers, they are always special. Wow. They take care of their children. Even, even if the children fail, the mother will still pray for them. Yeah. And the, and the mothers, all of the women, she, even her, they are mm. all Wonder Woman. Wow. <laughs> Now, what, what makes your mom a wonder woman? Just tell me some of the things that you love about your mom. She's always encouraging me. She's always supporting me. She's always correcting me. Oh. She's always taking care of us. She's trying her best. Mm, I really like that, Alex. Now, apart from yes. being a musician, what would you like to become after you graduate from university? Well, I would like to become a pastor. A pastor! <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you said you want to be a pastor. You want to be a pastor. So you, oh, so you can be praying for people. Yeah. <laughs> Apart from praying for them, and what other things? He wants to again? tell people what God has done for him, that God can do it for them as well. So tell me, <laughs> what has God done for you? Yes. He, he has helped me in so many things. Like when I was small, I didn't need to work, but God helped me. My mommy prayed for God to help me. Mm, and he helped you. Yes, he helped me in everything. Helped me in my studies. Helped me. He also helped me when I was sick. Mm. You're not, you're not I was always sick die. then. Oh. Every time we were always in the hospital for like three years constantly. Mm. I have been sick from January to December. Oh, you have been sick from January to then, December. Wait, that, that was then. That was then. But now. No, 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 no. <laughs> you only fall sick. Like but, years. But maybe, Mama, um, now, you talk, say, they're always sick then, like yes. back to back. Yes. And we know how health be for Nigeria, oh. health care be for Nigeria. Not be saying I want to ever. I'm telling you, especially if you have a special child. Tell us about your finances. And do they receive support from people at all? No, it's God. <laughs> Since we had Alice, always God. Since we had Alice, God has been awesome. Yeah. His second album is actually awesome God. He's writing about that too. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> awesome God is your second uh, and celebration. And celebration is the third one. Oh, <laughs> it's on it now. I like that. But we try to like break it. I don't want it to affect his story so he doesn't regress. So I, I, I know just coming out, even for our um, lounge for there, I see other kids there. Who are they? Tell his me. siblings, his, his junior siblings. ones. Yeah. So he has two he others. Have a set of twins, junior ones. Oh, twins. Yes, a boy and a girl. Now looking at Alex, and then nine months after you discover, say, he gets cerebral palsy. You began that fear at all with these twins? I did, definitely. I, I was scared. I was even more worried. Aww. I was, definitely. I was, I fear. I said, God, I beg now. <laughs> I want affliction to happen the second I time. Did. She was even crying. Oh, she was crying. <laughs> ah, so I was very scared. I even told her, I told her, Mommy, don't worry, God will help you. Yeah, sometimes, I, sometimes if there's something we are trying to like, get through and um, he's not getting it right. Like he told you, I will not start praying, I will cry. For every point, it's not easy. Mm, For not every step easy. and every progress they make, it's challenging it's and... Easy. Life is not easy, my darling. Yeah, so for... You're so right. <laughs> yeah, so for every challenge, you just see me praying, be... my husband will just tell me, you worry too much. I said, why won't I worry, I'm a woman, mm -hmm. you know? But when I now find out that, okay, oh, God, I think you said I should have faith in you. I don't think affliction will happen the second time. It's not affliction, sorry to say, uh -uh, it's that language. It's not, it's a blessing. It's, it's, it's the challenge, it's a mm -hmm. blessing. So I, I was scared. Mm. So but when they came out and they were okay, I was like, God, I thank you. And somewhere they've been very supportive as well. Mm. For every place we go to, they're always there for him. Mm. Like right now in the studio, they are here with I us. I know, I know they're actually here with me. Even Alex. when he's going for shows, they come let with me, him Let me speak well. with Alex again. Okay. Alex, tell me about your siblings. Well. My siblings. Call their names. Emmanuel Ede, Emmanuela Ede. Mm -hmm. Tell me about them. Well, they are always kind. Okay. They are always being supportive. Mm -hmm. They are always helping each other. Mm -hmm. They are always encouraging me. Mm -hmm. People fight. Oh, they do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Of course. Oh my God. They had a big fight last night. So, oh. <laughs> so who started it? Alex is a bully, can be Alex. <laughs> Alex always wants to take stand. I'm, I'm the senior, so uh -huh. you guys should relax. 
<laughs> oh, so now you've been talking about mommy, you've been talking about your siblings, mm. and you haven't said anything about daddy. Now tell me more about daddy. Let me know about daddy. He's just so kind. Okay. He's supportive. Okay. Cold. Sometimes you tell him to come and eat with you. Yes, we're always eating together. Oh, you guys are always eating together. <laughs> they are close. Mm. And you like that? So much. They are close. It looks like him too. Oh. They are very close. He has been very supportive. Alex, I, I, I know that you're in JSS too, and people will say, oh, what does he know? But what advice do you have for parents out there watching you now, or kids out there watching you and thinking that, mm, whatever I have, I can't move on? Actually, be courageous, be bold. Life will give you several reasons to cry, but do not cry. Believe in yourself. You will make it in life and pray always. Mm. Pray always. That's Thank Pastor you. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Alex. Thank and you. Mama, which advice you get from women or rather parents where they are, they may get special needs children, but they don't abandon them because of the stress of them. Um, which advice <sighs> you get for them? Wow. <clears throat> nice one. The advice I have for them, most of we parents, we tend to like hide our kids if we know they are challenged. You say a child that is just a cripple, what's there? Mm -hmm. You go and lock him inside the house. You say a child with CP autism, Down syndrome. You go and lock They don't want people to know you have a special child. You always go out with those ones where you think some of them better. Mm -hmm. They should stop that. No one is better than anyone. Okay. They are all born equal. They all have their different gifts they God have deposited. They are all the same. Mm -hmm. They all have their different gifts that God have deposited in them. All you need to do is to see it, look at the child, find out the gift, Encourage that child along the line. And you don't find out that he's one that is even making waves. Mm. Mm. You understand? Then again, being a mother with a special child is very challenging, both, both financially and otherwise. Mm. It is. Mm. It's very challenging. If you're going to spend 2000 on your regular child, you end up spending 20000 on your special child. Mm. But if you make him believe that, see, you can make it, and I love you, I'm your mother, you're my child, and I'm proud of you, I'm not ashamed of you, that child will gradually grow out of it. You see him trying to come out and be like a regular child. But to be like, sit down, what do you know you want to say? Come on, go and sit down there. The child will lock up. It's a, it, they will lock up. If it's a child that is having something like autism, he will never speak. They speak once in a while naturally. But if you make them believe in themselves, they have confidence. Alex is very bold. He can say whatever he wants to say because of the way I brought him up. I told him, being a special child, don't make you know to do whatever a regular child does. So you can do it, you can make it in life. I totally so that like is that. advice. So actually, Alice's song is not just that he did that song for me alone. No. This song, he dedicated it to oh. every woman, mm -hmm. potential parents, especially mm -hmm. parents with special children. Mm -hmm. So that is why we're doing what we're doing. To make them come out from their shell and come bring your child out. Being challenged like is not, and, it's not a I disease. I will actually beg you to please support Alex, support his musical career. Okay. Um, go online, download the music. Now, I did a research about um, dealing with special needs child. And like what you talk, love now the best medicine the best ever. Medicine forever. If you show them love, trust me, everything they, will yes. just go So let them follow Alex everything. on the Instagram page. Is that Alex? I give that to the Instagram Say page. That. Go to Instagram, Instagram page. Alex music underscore Starboy. Yes, that's it. Alex music, music underscore, underscore Starboy. Starboy. Please, please. <laughs> and it's online. Follow them and the music they online. It's please online. download it's on YouTube, it. right? YouTube, yes. Okay, is it on iTunes? Yes. All right, so on iTunes, please support support them, I beg. Yeah. Support them. Um, support Alex. Alex, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you. And keep being amazing. And I have to say something. Say it. Okay. May God bless all of you. Love wow. life and prosperity. Amen. Amen. And thank you so much. Thank um, you I'm so much. You inside the studio. God bless you. All right, we we'll discuss with Alex Osita Ede in a Starboy. Starboy, <laughs> give me five. Yeah. <laughs> Starboy is a musician and um, special needs child in Get Cerebral Palsy at nine months. Now the, now the mama actually um, identifies, say something, um, actually they wrong. But still, she not see that as a challenge. She started to seek help um, for Afikina. Now you can see Alex doing so well. Thank you so much, um, Catherine you. Ede. Thank you, you so come much. To share your story with Thank us. Thank you for having us. We appreciate To enjoy more of this, our Ogunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.